Hey everyone, so we know that developers live in their terminals, basically, it's like their home. So super exciting, we have Kevin here who's gonna show us Gemini CLI in action. So the goal is to keep developers in their flow state. And today we're gonna to be using Model Context Protocol, or MCP, to connect to our own internal tools. So we all know MCP is great at retrieving data, but it's also great for taking actions on your behalf. I've already gone ahead and configured my settings.json final to connect to my Vestaport MCP server. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's check the state of the MCP server. And we see here the MCP server is configured and connected successfully. There we go, we know it's connected. Now let's go ahead and take some actions here. Make the Vestaboard colorful. It's working! Just I like love that. it. It's so satisfying to watch. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's go ahead and check to see if Gemini CLI is good at math. Okay. Show me the results of 124 times 24 on the Vesta board. Do we know if that's the right answer? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> One of my other favorite parts about using the MCP here is it's not just a one-way street. We can also use Gemini CLI to get information back. Let's go ahead and run a command here to get Vestibor status. All right, so here you can see that it's pulling the results for me in a JSON file and then also going to configure it to my screen. So Gemini CLI knows the state of my current tools and gives that information back to me. All right, you just saw it. Adding generative AI straight into your terminal. How do people get started? So the best place is to visit GeminiCLI.com to learn more. And if you're interested in a hands-on lab, visit the link down below. All right, supercharge your terminal with Gemini CLI.